And not only that, my daughter. Like, mm. yeah, like my daughter is my why because I really want to be a source of inspiration mm. for her too. My daughter, she has a diagnosed disability. And so when she was 18 months, we found out that she had global developmental delay. I had never heard of it in my life. So basically, she wasn't meeting her milestones. And growing up from the age of six months, I really felt as a mummy that something wasn't quite happening as it should do. I was like, why is she not meeting her milestones? I was looking at those milestone cards that you get. People, you know, gift it to you when the baby's born. At six months, I'm now doing this. At seven months, my cards were blank. And it was really getting me down because I was like, I was in mummy groups, parent groups on WhatsApp. Oh, look, my child's now doing this, rolling over in the cot, now crawling, sitting up. I was like, why is my daughter not doing that? Like, really baffled me. So I started to question myself, started to get really like postnatal anxiety, thinking, what am I doing as a mummy? And, you know, what am I doing wrong? So again, lots of triggering things from when I was younger started to come up for me. But when she was 18 months, we got a diagnosis to say that it was global developmental delay. So we started to get various different therapies in place, occupational therapy, physiotherapy, because she didn't start walking until she was three years, nine months as well. So she was very delayed. She's still nonverbal, currently nonverbal. So we've got speech and language therapy. So we started getting all of the therapies in place in order to see how we can support her and to help her to thrive. And then November last year, we actually we took part a few months before myself and her father and my daughter in it was trio whole sequencing so it's a whole genome sequencing so basically they look at my genes they look at his genes they look at my daughter's genes and they try to see whether there's something genetic happening and lo and behold it came back that there was and it's not inherited there was a mutation of the gene called med 13 l syndrome so is it the med 13 l is a gene but is now a diagnosis of med 13 l syndrome that she has so there was a distortion mutation of that gene during the conception process so it kind of meant aha it makes sense now it's not just global developmental delay where people say or well, they're trying to use the word impairment now because it's not always a delay it actually could be long term and so it was like oh okay so there's some understanding it doesn't change the course because apparently well there is no cure at the moment and they're doing research to see whether there could be a cure but it just gave some some understanding as to where she is right now and so the therapies are still in place but she's my huge motivation because no matter what she always does her best she always does her best to communicate in a way that we can understand. And it takes us because she is currently nonverbal, to be able to understand what she is trying to get our attention for, what she wants, her needs and her desires. And my goal, my why, is to have her thrive in a world that is currently quite challenging. We encounter so many challenges out and about in public when it comes to accommodating her needs you know I'm on a mission to make sure that educationally she's getting the support that she needs at school and so to kind of be a source of inspiration for her so she can sit back and say mommy did her best no she she accepted and she acknowledged the label condition that I have but she also did her best to make me thrive to almost sometimes push her out of her comfort zone so that she can just to see, you know, can you do it? According to the label, you shouldn't be able to do this. But mummy has said, we're just going to try it. Oh my gosh, you enjoyed that. Fantastic. So, you know, she's my huge wife. I really want her to live the best life that she can live considering the parameters that she may have growing up. So, and I've got goals. Now, I want to take her to Disney World. I want to take her to Lapland. I want to take her to all of these places. So she's my huge motivation for, for and, and she's just so happy and content all of the time. You know, each morning I wake up and go into her room to get her ready. You know, she's laughing already. I'm like, oh, the joy 
that she just brings oh, it's just amazing it's just such an honor that she chose me to be her mum because I believe in that spiritually I believe that we choose our people and she chose me and I chose her and I would not have it any other way wow that is so beautiful that just your why is your daughter that is amazing amazing and she is such a gift to the world such a gift and I acknowledge you for running a busy business international being a mum you know you you are really really out there doing some big things in the world thank you 